Y'all are walking on eggshells because I'm about to lose my mind. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Well, I think this will be like a weekend vlog because girl, it's Saturday. I don't think I've vlogged at all this week because I was, ex will you talk about exhausted? Friend, I was exhausted, okay? So, uh, my armpits itch. I need, to <laughs> I need to show you my armpits, girl. I got the itchies. What's going on? Are we blocking off the road? Girl, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, girl, not them blocking off the gym road and then just telling me to point and go this way. Baby, oh, girl, I'm going to have to navigate through this neighborhood. I don't know where I'm going. This ain't my stomping grounds. I'm going to make this left. I think this is going to do something. It's going to take me somewhere, child. And where are these girls coming from? This somebody calls a sack. Yeah, I should've known. <laughs> well, nobody turned it out here and I thought I had the news. I thought I had the plug, girl. I don't, and I don't. So let me go ahead and loop around. What are you looking at, lady? <laughs> Where did my attitude come from? Ain't doing nothing, child. Ain't nothing down here, baby. Everybody following me, don't follow me. <laughs> the people was following me. <laughs> Girl, what is going on? Oh, so all the girls are turning around. Everybody mad. Why y'all blocking off the road like this? The road. I'm stuck. Let me out. I've been stuck on that road like child. I don't even know where I'm going. This is really annoying that they did this. Is this another cul-de-sac? Oh no, it's not. Okay, where does this take one? Where does this take, where does this road go? Oh, what an adventure on the way to the gym. <laughs> but anyways, so I'm just checking in with you all. Wanted to see how you are doing this weekend. Of course, we're doing a date night. We were considering not doing it because this week was so exhausting. So um, I guess we'll see what we're gonna be doing, but um either way we're planning on doing a date night that's the plan so um tonight we're gonna be going to dinner at beetle cat and then and then tomorrow um i guess we're just gonna be resting at home and then we'll see what we do for the rest of the week so Wait, can we not go to the gym? They stopping everybody from going everywhere. We can't do anything. What's going on? Oh, these people don't know how to direct traffic. Let me turn this clicker off. Anyway, so yeah, just, but just checking in. Did I tell you I was headed? Yeah, I'm headed to the gym. I think I'm just gonna do like a 15, 20 minute workout. I woke up this morning at like seven got myself ready and i was exhausted my husband was like take a nap take some cbd and go to sleep so um i took some cbd and i knocked out baby for about two more hours so i didn't get back up till 10 30 because i woke up did my morning routine all that type of stuff finally i'm back on the road what's going on here so now i'm on my way to the gym and it's like four because I had to eat breakfast at 2.30. Ate my breakfast, had my protein shake, did all that stuff, drank my tea, brushed my teeth again. Girl, it was just a lot. So, now we're on our way out. I also did some shopping when I woke up at this morning. I picked up, out some clothes. Every time we go to dinner, that's the way I'm building my closet. Every time we go to dinner, I do my... Y'all know I don't go in the store. I do an no, online Nordstrom order for pickup. And I go pick up my outfit. If I don't like it, I take it back. If I do like it, then I have a new outfit. So every week I'm buying something new and I'm trying to build my closet and have more quality clothes because 
before then baby my clothes was not quality they weren't quality they were like you know i was buying fast fashion i still like a good amazon purchase like something quick and cute and cheap and cheerful but um mostly i have been trying to get more quality pieces that i like now naked wardrobe is eh, but like house of cb j lux label um, a couple of other brands that i'm discovering that i actually really like i am going to be on my park in my park spot down here i'm going to be using those i'm going to be wearing like more quality items because i feel like i'm i'm not saying like when you get older when you're 35 like you need to be wearing certain things but i just feel like oh, okay miss mama's want to take my spot okay girl like i want to invest more in my clothing because i want to like how i dress and y'all know i told y'all like when i buy fast fashion girl i'm gonna look like a ho i know i am and i enjoy it but i'm trying to find more clothes and find like an actual style that's not like retired or married you know what i'm saying <laughs> does that make sense so now let's go ahead and get in the gym i'm at the gym i finally made it the detour worked. my armpits are itching i don't know if it's the new native deodorant that i put on oh there are little bumps <gasps> I have little bumps in my armpits. I think I'm having an allergic reaction to my deodorant. But it's just like, it's making my nose itch. Like, it's just like crazy. But now that I've been using natural deodorant, um, my armpits don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but they don't smell. Like, they don't get that antiperspirant smell. Oh, my God. Well, there's like actual like little bumps all up and through my armpits. I use native. Maybe it's just a scent. I may have to take that scent back. Because usually I use like the white tea and lilac one. But something about that scent I'm allergic to. Anyways. Let me go ahead and disinfect my hands. Because I just had my hands all up in my armpits. And that's gross. I'll go in and wash my hands as well. Don't worry. I'll <laughs> wash my hands. Um... Uh, the sunlight is sunlighting. I'm not mad at it, but wow. So, um, yeah, it's already been a day. I need to get on this stair mat. So it's stairmaster. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else because I need to go back home. I don't have. Oh no, I have my. I keep wet ones in my car. I also keep Lysol wipes. Y'all ain't gonna catch me slipping, okay? Wipe my hands off and then take my behind in side so i guess i'll see y'all i don't know if i'll be showing y'all it's the same workout so i'm gonna do the stairmaster maybe some hip thrusts and some squats maybe some abs maybe some hip abductors and then go home that's been my routine for years and when i tell you it gets me the round booty that i've been looking for yes i always get that round nice if i do that consistently the body be bodying hey y'all i am done at the gym finally that road was still blocked off but y'all already know where i'm at you already know where i'm at why does it say part of my order is ready i'm doing my pickup oh i think that's me hello Hi, how are you? good how are you your hair is beautiful thank you you thank you so much you two items yes okay perfect you're all set thank you so much okay have a good one. you too Oh, it's small. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. So, you you remember last time I came and got the, what is this called? I got the um, bracelet from Kate Spade. I got another one from Kate Spade and this one looks small. This is a lock bracelet. Let's see. And this one looks similar to the Cartier bracelet which I'm excited about because I do like the Cartier bracelet, bracelet, but ain't nobody paying thousands of dollars for that. I ain't got thousands of dollars to spend. And this one's like small. Oh, I'm so happy I got it. Now this was um, 48 Zoolas and it's gold plated, but it's really pretty. I'm so happy about this. And I got, wait, no, I got, no, I got a pair of pants. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 
I'm waiting on a pair of pants. Hold on. Oh, those pants will be ready for pickup by tomorrow. Oh, man. Dang, I have to go in and ask them about this because it said it'll be ready for pickup for today. And it's supposed to be on my outfit for tonight. I wonder if I can go in and ask, but I'm sweaty, girl. My whole, my whole body is sweaty, so I don't know. I got these black leather pants and this is what's not in the cart Ugh. okay well i need to order my food anyways i'm gonna order my food real quick i got my bracelet i mean i guess that's cute and it's a really good size it's small and i have a really small waist i mean not small waist <clears throat> i got a small uh wrist so i'm happy about this bracelet like really happy about this kate spade bracelet they got really cute stuff and i got two bracelets from kate spade but i think my regular bracelet is like for daily wear and this one is for like you know like going out i could wear it with my little nine west watch my nine west watch was 19 dollars. but this shirt i wonder if i'm a light oh girl. hey girl <laughs> i am getting ready where's my wine oh girl i need my wine oh oh yeah get my water water and wine okay water and wine that's what we need today okay so i'm getting ready for date night tonight and i'm gonna wear a wig i want an easy wig application i think i'm gonna do a wig that i just did in my friday or my sunday get ready with me babe when i tell you water oh my god wine don't compare to water i tell you that oh so refreshing I got a little backwash drop right here. Mm. So, I'm getting myself ready. And I'm just going to toss on this kinky edge wig. Y'all know I love a kinky edge wig. I would do another wig, but I just don't have time. Where's my mirror? Is it behind me? I think it's behind me. I would do another wig, but I don't have time to be playing around. So I'm gonna wear this wig and this wig was really cute. I, it's a side part. So I braided my hair in like a side part. Sometimes I would do a ponytail, but the ponytails be like doing a lot. So cheers. This is a wine and wigs day. I mean, basically, oh my God, it really is a wine and wigs day. <laughs> I got my wig grip here. I am so hot. Got my wig grip. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm gonna put on my wig cap and then pop on this wig. This is going to be a super easy wig application. It's so much easier to apply wigs after I've customized them. Like it usually takes me a few hours to customize a wig from Ruta to Tuta, Ruta to Tuta. But after I do the customization, curling, all that type of stuff, girl, the wig is on in a couple of minutes. Ow. That little ponytail, I got my hair just. Okay. Ah. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna toss this wig on. Girl, I got lint in it. I'm gonna get into doing this because I have to be ready by 8.30 and it's eight o'clock. Y'all know I always be late, so. I'm trying to be a little bit more on time so I don't stress my husband out. <laughs> but look at this wig. This is without anything, so like so pretty it's still curled like not super curled but it's curled which is enough for me i don't really care i should care but i don't it is what it is girl but i wanted to re-wear this wig oh my god and all i gotta do is like look at that oh my god that is amazing i'm probably gonna like i don't know if i need to flat iron the edges anymore because it's really just looking like my hair like i just was like oh girl let me just wear my natural hair not even worry about my like not extra straighten my edges i love that okay so let me go ahead and spray this down we're gonna do the wig application while we vibe out i guess am i gonna put y'all over here probably over here while i do my stuff hopefully that light isn't getting on your nerves probably will but let's get into it i'm gonna listen to carlos king Y'all know I love mess. <laughs> Y'all like mess because, ooh, I love mess. Ooh, Scotty by nature. 
my messy people scotty by nature um erica de Niro tv who is so many bondi blue rodney the voice obviously like those are the people i'm listening to if i want to get into some mess mess okay but it's 7 49 and i need to be ready by 8 30 so i can get this done no problem so let me go ahead and get started uh, baby this wig will be on in 15 minutes like on secure and cute on instagram and read a script that mia roper <laughs> pecked peter and said child if you don't know me why did you ask so we got about 30 minutes and yes we're gonna be ready in 30 minutes Candace Deal the Bassett back in season five. Monique left the cab. There should be no consequences. This ready i think y'all saw me putting on my makeup and stuff of course i wasn't ready on time fully ready though i'm gonna show y'all my outfit remember i told y'all in the car that i was gonna be picking up an outfit well they didn't have my pants i just got the shirt and the bracelet but i really like the bracelet and i still had this naked wardrobe outfit from i picked it up yesterday i think i ordered it from nordstrom so they this is like a casual outfit but i had nothing else to wear because the pants weren't ready Look at my man, my man, my man though, back there. Okay, but this is my outfit. The lighting is bad, but this is like the Naked Wardrobe. Uh, what is this? I'm gonna say the name. Ooh, not it sliding down like that. Girl, I need to get a new one of these tripods because it's tripping. Um, but it's just like a whole onesie. I got it in black and in green. So it just has like a zip up. It's really soft. I actually have a short set similar to this that I got from uh where is that from i don't know i got from somewhere and it was really cheap but baby it has like a built-in like bbl shape like when you see it it looked like they put all the shape in there for it it's really really cute so i'll leave a link for this down below and i got these same boots that i'm always wearing from By the time the is it's creepy I'm going to turn it off. Oh, it is? Yeah. I muted it. Anyways, so yes, I have this on and this wig is. Ooh, I forgot. I'll tell y'all down below because I don't forgot. Or I'll put it on the screen like I'll put. I did it with the last Get Ready With Me. My memory is bad. Oh, yeah. That's RPG. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> this RPG hair. But ooh, the body is bodying today. So this is in the shoes. I got this 
the whole look. The angle is everything. Put this right here. But like this is the whole look and I'm gonna wear this same auntie short fur jacket and my black coach bag. I'm warm though, so I'm gonna have to take this off. But the hair looks so good. Oh. Y'all know how I try to suck in. I had some wings, so. <laughs> but we're going to Beetle Cat and we're about to have some dinner and I'm excited. Beetle Cat is really, really good. And it's more of like, it's not a like dinner. It's a dinner spot, but it's more casual-ish. You know, like it's a fun spot. So I can't wait to go to Beetle Cat and eat, but we're ready, ready to go. Oh, I'm hot. I don't even need this jacket because it's actually not cold outside. And I'm wearing this coach bag that I got from the last time we went to coach. So we're gonna see y'all once we get to the restaurant. I feel cute. My eyebrows are a little bit dark though, just a little bit. <laughs> So we made it to, wait, Beetle Cat. Beetle Cat. Yeah, Beetle Cat. So we're waiting on the elevator to go down. The only thing about this area is that they don't have like good parking. They have a parking garage, but you gotta walk a lot. And if you got on heels, whew, it's gonna be a lot. And these shoes are, oh, what's this on my shoe? What's up, white? No, I made it worse. Oh, you pressed it. The light was on. Does it not work? Okay. Do you want to take the stairs? Was that right there? That's stupid. What's wrong with this? Ugh. See, that's what you were saying. Should have went to non. <laughs> Should have went to non. Take the stairs. I told y'all you'd be walking. The elevator is off. No, let me pay attention to me walking. Okay. Went to Beetle Cat. We're in the car. And I'm breathing hard from going up those stairs. But I have on heels. Walking up the stairs? Yeah. Find your what? The ticket? Yeah. I guess I put it in the wallet. Let's see. <coughs> but Beetle Cat was good. Really good. But yeah. he forgot our wings. But we was full anyway. So I guess it worked out. Yeah. But I was, I wasn't full. I wanted to eat the wings. I wanted to try them. But I don't know if the KFC sauce but, was something you know, I could eat. It is what it is. It'd be like that, yeah. <laughs> he came back and said, y'all still hungry? <laughs> oh, y'all still hungry? Y'all shameless. I'm still hungry. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're doing. Anyways, the food was good, like always. Beetle Cat's good. It's... Uh, Service isn't but, what you would want it to be. Yeah, I mean, they're more of like a casual sort of restaurant. More of a bar situation, so... Um, the food is good so if you want like the fried rice Let's i would recommend go. the fried rice Make a that Thanks mahi that. and what else we have uh coconut rice mahi tuna puto um my kale salad how's the kale salad it's pretty good it's pretty good it's big they have big portions too so they're like shareable portions so What's but the first there? time i don't know there's some uh some confusion over there the first time we went to Beetle Cat, the server was actually really informed. He, like he was really nice, and the service was good. And he told us like most of the plates are shareable plates. So, anywho, and it's not ex super expensive. Oh, but it's over here by MF Sushi. If you've heard of MF, Su MF Sushi, it's in that same area. So. Inman Quarters. Inman Quarters. 
They got bars. Inman Square. Inman yeah. Quarters or Square? Quarters, yeah. They have bars, like a whole bunch of places to like drink and hang out. So I liked it. It's worth it. So, anyways, we're gonna head home. Don't try to fit your way in there. No, no I'll let them go. Oh, you That's letting them go? Are you really nice? Because I would have worked past. Then turn left at Elizabeth Street Northeast. For a second, so. Yeah, you just got here. I'm not nice like that. I'm really not nice. It's a small car. It's a difference. Now, if I was in a rush, no. Oh no no no. no. She knows. Mm -mm. She knows better. Mini Cooper. Oh, my little dog. Hey y'all, we're back home from Beetle Cat, and about to have a little night cat. And then Church. go to bed. Probably take my take a couple of photos. Some shows. Chicago PD. Chicago PD it is. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. Mm. Beetle Cat was good. The bracelet that I got, the uh, Kate Spade bracelet. I saw some reviews that people said theirs kept falling off. That didn't happen to me. It's the perfect size. It's actually pretty small. It's smaller than my other Kate Spade bracelet. So I think it's a good dupe for the Cartier one because it has the diamonds and it has that little, it has a clasp right here for you to take it off. But I think it's a good bracelet. Like, I like it. I really like it. I like a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to today. Today's Monday. And, um, girl, I did not vlog. Wait, I was supposed to vlog on Sunday. I did not vlog yesterday because, whew, I just was not in the mood. Y'all already know what time it is. It's PMS time okay and during pms time i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know how my mood's gonna be so i just be off so yesterday i took the day off because i was i don't know what i feel like a tea kettle that's the best way to describe it i feel like a tea kettle that's about to pop and i'm doing my best to keep the temperature low so i don't whistle <laughs> i'm trying to do everything i can i'm walking on eggshells my husband's walking on eggshells Every, everybody around me y'all don't know it but y'all walking on eggshells y'all are walking on eggshells because i'm about to lose my mind <laughs> today in an effort to um manage my mood i decided hey i'm gonna get up and go to the gym but i get so scatterbrained i got up dang that's a lot of piling out here i got up started to get myself ready and before i knew it i was already annoyed i don't know what annoyed me i don't know what did it but something did it to me and whoever it was or whatever it was we about to fight because i be trying i got new seat covers <laughs> for this car well i've had these for a while um because these seats are like a, like a brown color like a uh, what is it i forgot it's a cognac interior and i already got a mark on the seat like it's a weird mark i don't even know where it came from but so i got seat covers but i don't like the seat covers i don't like them but i got them from amazon they they do what they're supposed to do anyways so i don't know who did it to me or what did it to me but my mood is just like screwed up so hmm, hmm, hmm. my amazing husband does the best he can <laughs> but i be feeling so bad i just be trying to like I'll be like at a level this. You can mention one thing and then I'm like about to pop out of my skin. So right now I'm at Starbucks because I'm trying to, I try to do things that make me happy. Today it's a beautiful day. I think it's going to be like 75, 78 degrees. Perfect day. So I was like, you know what? Get outside of the house first. Before you do anything else, get out of the house. Get your, put on your clothes. Get out of here. So that's what I'm doing. Girl, it's 1239. I work up, woke up at nine o'clock, but I be doing all this other stuff. So I didn't really do anything, but I did stuff. So then now I'm here waiting in the Starbucks line and <laughs> the water is boiling because why is it line so long? <laughs> I forgot what I always get. So y'all know for my pre-workouts, I like to drink a black tea and they have this black tea here. I actually like it. Last time I got black tea and soy milk, but it's called something else. It's like a breakfast tea. 
I took a picture. I screenshot it because I knew I was not going to remember. Which one? Oh, where is it? I had to have screenshot it after this. Before this? Oh, there it is. Royal English Breakfast Tea Latte. That's what I'm going to get. I may get two today. I didn't break the bank. Okay. Maybe a small one. Should I do cotton? No, I want something warm. But then when it's warm, I can't drink it. I'm going to come back later because I think my husband's going to want egg bites. And usually when I go by Starbucks, I get egg bites for him. So, yeah. And I had to leave my Invisalign at home so I can drink this tea. I was looking at my teeth and I love them. It's just that one tooth. Arr! But I was supposed to make an appointment today with my... Um, I was supposed to make an appointment today <coughs> with my... With the dentist, Troy Shulman, to see if I can get some cosmetic work done. Is that a spider web? Oh, girl. Why is there a spider web in my car? I'm unhinged. We need to get this car cleaned. That's one of the things we we're supposed to do today. But I'm going to come back with a new attitude because my husband, my man, my man, my man is the most patient person ever. So I just need to get myself in check and get this. Okay, let me do my order. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'll be right with you. Thank you. What is it? Okay, I didn't even, y'all didn't get to hear what I ordered because my um, camera memory is down. But I got a, I got a Royal English breakfast tea latte. Like the pollen, oh my God. I got a Royal English breakfast tea latte. So, waiting on that. Then I'm gonna go to the gym. Then I'm gonna come back. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. <laughs> Cause I just don't wanna be at home. <sighs> Whatever, I just was like, let me get out. I was really like, let me get out of here. Cause yesterday I had a breakdown with being stuck in the house because I had to edit. And y'all know how I feel about seasonal depression and daylight savings time. So when I finally um, was like, okay, I can get out of the house, girl, it was already dark. And I can't wait for this spring forward, y'all. I'm just, whew, give me daylight, please. Yesterday was Sunday though. And um, I watched The Real Housewives of Potomac. I can't even, the part three reunion. I don't like it. I gotta be honest with you, I don't like it. I didn't like um, the reunion. I think, like it was silly to me that Giselle's like, I'm a, I try not to be say negative things, but Janelle, Giselle is like a horrible person. Miss Mamas is in the G-Wagon back here. Just, yes ma'am. I wonder if I can just use mine. Um. But yeah, uh, we'll get into it. I think I'm about to pull up and get my drink. So, great, it's my turn. Hi. Hi, it's Perfect. Use Apple Pay. Thank you for choosing Starbucks, I'll be right with you. Can I use Apple Pay? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, I'm here. So I'm going to ask you a question first, and then we can oh, record awesome. after. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's awesome that you say awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are like, huh? <laughs> because I never get to see a tip, so it's like, oh. that's good. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. You have a good one. And you too. Of course. Thank you. I I'm so happy right now. That lady was super sweet. Anyways. She was so sweet. I never, I didn't know like, cause every time I go to um, Starbucks, I pay with the actual card. I am going to pay with Apple Pay from now on because you can leave a tip. It always bothers me not to leave a tip. I'm a tip girly. I'm gonna leave you a tip, okay? The Starbucks girlies work hard. So I'm gonna leave you a tip. The reunion was just not, um, it wasn't good to me. I feel like um, the girls are, 
like the issues with the show are signing through like everybody's lying i don't even know what we're talking about like you're not having real conversations about like real conflicts and things happening in your life they're all about rumors and then there are certain people on the cast they look like this they don't look like these but little ideas that be treated a different way the audience treats them a, a different way and they treat each other I, I, it's just like it don't feel like authentic it doesn't feel and I, when i listen to erica de Niro tv ronnie the voice a lot of other people that watch the show feel the same way so it just don't feel like it isn't entertaining um well i always felt like it was entertaining. actually part two i thought was more entertaining like I want to hear about Ashley's marriage. I want to hear about um, Mia's business. Um, the lies between like Candace and Giselle, it got more, well, the lie that Giselle told on Chris, it just seems like there were no repercussions for it. Like nobody's like telling her like, girl, what's going on with you? Because that that's just a full on lie. I mean, Aradin said it, but she said she was also overreacting. But girl, you didn't even tell your tea because you didn't want none of that mess you didn't even tell the truth about your man so i don't get it it just feels like i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop oh not the brakes <laughs> girl are y'all enjoying real housewives of potomac because how i like to watch shows like if it's a um real housewives of miami is one of the best shows i love um Beverly Hills I like Orange County I actually like really like Jersey I never like New York I just like the shows where the people got substance like have something to you and I just of course Atlanta Atlanta's kind of you know off and on but in general I like the season but in general I like to see people tell stories I love to see how people react to situations and when the situations are like not real and y'all just drama is just not that exciting like I like a little mess but like not like drama like it's just too much so part three was just like and Robin's part like that they were teasing the whole time was basically the interview that Andy had she really didn't say anything different so she just looks i mean like she just looks the same amount of stupid so i don't even <laughs> robin girl like they didn't really show much more footage i thought it was gonna be like 30 minutes of a robin interview and it was like three so it was just like what are we here for girl what are we doing here this is a waste of my time your time robin's time like if y'all not gonna let the girl demote the girl or get her off the show either way they need to scrap the whole show because <laughs> giselle ain't gonna stop doing what she's doing she not she's not and i don't i don't like how they reacted to candace saying what she was saying about how giselle could just blurt out stuff um a lie wendy should have had candace's back i said it she should have had her back even if i didn't agree with her that's one of those situations where i take you behind closed doors or like even if i were to clarify it for you um i would take you behind closed doors and be like girl you know i feel like maybe oh. okay i think i can park oh oh come on i don't think they are actually friends so i don't know i didn't feel like candy was wrong candace was wrong i didn't I didn't feel like she was wrong. I didn't. So, um, I felt like what she said wasn't inflammatory. I thought she was just, she was angry and she said what she said. The way, I guess, because of what she looks like, I'm sorry, they overreact. She's not overreacting. Y'all are overreacting to her and her response. There's nobody like there to hold anybody accountable for the stuff that they do to make this show a bad show so it's kind of like girl what are we doing here anyway i'm at z gym and i'm about to go in and just do a little a little a little 15 minute workout just a stairmaster that's all i'm gonna do 15 minutes get my blood pumping because i just be i'm editing and i'm filming a lot and i'm sitting a lot and that's not good for me so I just decided like on some days when I can't make it to the gym gym, I can just do a little one, two step. 
you know what I'm saying? And then after this, we have to go and get, what is happening? After this, we have to go get some memory cards and a mic battery for my DSLR um, camera mic, which is a, a road mic similar to this one. And then we're gonna go back home. So I'll see y'all in a second. turn this off I'm done working out and I am headed to I want to open my sunroof but it is like pollen outside so I don't know but I'm headed to I wonder if I should just go to Best Buy if I should go to Target Best Buy is like right there and Target is kind of out of the way and last time they didn't have SD cards so I guess I'll go to Best Buy figure that out but target is the only one that has a hard drive but i have a hard drive at home i just need to format it whatever i need a hard drive for like shorts and reels and all that type of stuff so i'm gonna go back home and format that to be used so we can edit some shorts so yeah but i feel a lot better I haven't drank my tea yet. It's still hot, obviously, because it's hot outside. I probably should have got a cold one, but no. So let's go to Best Buy first. Uh, so I guess I'll see y'all at Best Buy. I need to get some air, girl. It was hot. It was a good workout, though. 15 minutes. My legs, my glutes are feeling amazing. So. <sighs> Oh yeah, did I tell you what I was drinking? Actually, let me close this real quick. Cause I don't know if y'all can hear me. It's still really, really hot. The, uh, the Venti Royal English Tea Latte with soy milk. It's good, it's not sweet. It really don't taste like much. Kinda tastes like bubble gum. I don't know. It tastes like something in particular. But the energy I need is all in here. Okay. Mm. I should have drank this before, but it was way too hot. Mm. Anyways, I need to open up the sunroof. Obviously, as soon as I open the sunroof, girl, <clears throat> my voice. Like, I'm really allergic to pollen. Ooh, it's right there. I'm really allergic to pollen, so. I'm sweating all over my seatbelt, child my life together let me open this up okay i'll see you in a second headed in to best buy i'm gonna go get um like i said memory cards and stuff like that i left my tea in the car i wanted to bring it but girl i will have too much going on so it's best buy time let me see a few memory cards not my shoes being on top girl I'm just gonna tuck it in uh, you know when you don't want to tie your shoes, child. Oh my god. Okay, what do I need? What do I have the SD cards? Is this over here? Oh yeah. Great SD cards. See, I usually get. Why are those so big? Um, I like a good. Um, this is thirty bucks for the Extreme Pro, and I think I'm gonna get uh, sixty-four gig. And then I like to get a smaller one. Uh, I only have two. Ugh. Okay, so I'm back home. I showered. Oh my nose. I showered. Um, 
and I have on a little lunch outfit because we're gonna go to lunch. I did a little bit. Did I do any work? I don't think so. Oh, I gotta grab this. I didn't do any work, <laughs> really. Like I had to go grab the stuff and I had to do something with the, whatever, what am I even explaining? So I wanna show y'all what I'm wearing, but like how does one do that? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm wearing this bodysuit and these pants from TJ Maxx. Y'all know I wear these bo this bodysuit all the time. This is a BDG bodysuit. It's like one of my favorite bodysuits for like any outfit. And I have on my fake Hermes sandals. It's actually really warm out. So wearing that, my Nine West watch from Amazon and my Kate Spade bracelet. This Amazon necklace and that's it. And I ever had my hair pulled back and I just did my eyebrows. That's it. I don't really do too much. I need to put some sunscreen on, but then that's it. So I need to import some of this vlog footage and, ooh, my sinuses and move over some stuff. So I'm gonna do that for uh, shorts editing and stuff like that. In the meantime, I'm listening to Kendall Ray. I'm on a uh, crime kick, so was that true crime kick so i'm listening to some true crime while that happens oh i could use a new i could use a new uh memory card while this loads because <gasps> i got new memory cards i didn't even really show y'all what i got from best buy so it's not that interesting i told y'all i was getting memory cards a battery i got three memory cards and i have two of these passport for max um hard drives one for my husband one for me because he has a Mac as well and some batteries for my Rode mic this mic right here so I have to put that because that mic's about to go out I need to change that battery today so I can film tomorrow so I'm gonna get all this done try and load in some footage and then yeah that's it Skin is looking good. I wish I had on some blush, but I'm not putting makeup on my face. I just washed my face. So I guess I'll see y'all in a second. I just wanted to check in. Ooh, that's my hubby. It's my me and my me and my me. Hey y'all, this is the full outfit. These pants are high water. And I don't know if I like the bodysuit with this, but it's really comfortable. So this is what we wearing, girl. This is what's going on. And I'm taking advantage of this very warm day. So I'm gonna head out so we can go eat. And I will see y'all in a second. Do I have my keys? I think so. I want to wear this bag. My same coach bag that everything fits in. So, where's my keys? What well, all day? Okay, got my keys. Let's go. Oh, it looks so nice in here. Yeah, my arm is like itching this part. Yeah, because you scratched it. Leave it alone. You gotta stop messing with it. <laughs> I gotta make sure I order my tripod too. I have to do that. Whew, hey y'all. <laughs> it's been a minute since I talked to y'all. Oh, wow, the hair is looking a mess. I'm doing a wig review right now, so. But I'm just making some lunch. It's like six. I'm gonna take my bosom out now. Oh, I'm coming back, bro. I'm making lunch. I made some. I made some like vegan fried rice. Hopefully y'all can't see anything back there. But I made some like vegan fried rice. I should use a paper plate. This is a lot of fried rice. Like I, I don't know. Not vegan fried rice. Oh, that's a lie. Y'all be getting on me because y'all, I know it's not vegan. Why do I? But it's um, a plant-based fried rice. So Beyond Meat, eggs, not plant based either. It's yummy. It's rice. Mm. It's so good. This is a big bowl. But this is Beyond Meat, eggs, and rice. It looks like a lot more, I think. But I use like Worcestershire to cook because I think Worcestershire is low sodium, but it has a lot of flavor. Worcestershire. And on the eggs, I didn't season. Yeah, I think I seasoned. I seasoned the Beyond Meat with the chicken bouillon stuff. And then I used 
salt, pepper, and onion powder on the eggs. But I didn't use any actual, I only use a little bit of salt on the eggs. So I can't wait to eat this, I'm so hungry. I got a big, this is a big bowl to me. It tastes like hard rice. Here I go with these cabinets. So it's that time of the month again. So my mood is just like not <clears throat> where it needs to be. So I haven't been vlogging as much as I've wanted to because I've just been off. Also, there was a power outage in our area this morning. That has nothing to do with anything, but there was a power outage. <clears throat> Got me choking on a piece of rice. I'm gonna stop this camera in a second to eat, but I'm not on my period, but like 10 days, I told y'all this before. About like 10 days before my period starts, my PMS starts and it is bad. Like I was just telling my husband, like I wanna get checked out because I, like I told y'all yesterday, like I feel like a teapot about to blow. Like something's gonna whistle out of my ears. I took CBD and that helped, but I'm running out of my CBD. I have two types of CBD that I use. I use a CBD to sleep and I use a CBD for keeping me calm. And the CBD works, but girl only got so much. So uh, yeah, my mood has just been all over the place. Like I don't be liking how I look. It's just like a whole thing, but it's just literally a hormonal phase. And I tried to explain to my husband, like in my head I can control it, but in real life, literally it feels like I am so angry like i feel like i'm about to be on fire and i can't even describe it like it is the weirdest strangest thing and then uh once my period starts i start to feel a little bit better and then i have one more like mood swing like right at the end of my period it's like the weirdest i don't even know y'all let me know if you're like that i don't know mm. i'm about to watch um Let's see, I'm watching uh, Brianna right now and her vlog, so I'm gonna watch that. Who else posted today? Where Rodney at? I love you all, I'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> I'm annoying. But I'm gonna finish this, then I have to dry this hair, fluff it out, and then I'll probably just close out the vlog a little bit later. If I do anything else, I'll let you know. I was gonna show y'all what I bought. I showed y'all the one naked wardrobe thing, but I haven't showed y'all anything else that I bought. I bought a couple things. Whatever, I'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a second. I just think I'm not gonna keep that, whatever. Girl, I'm just running my mouth. Let me relax for a second, me. <laughs> it is 9.22, which isn't that bad at all, but I started at like four. So, and I took maybe a 30, 45 minute break to eat and let this hair dry. And then I came back to filming, doing my makeup and all this type of stuff. For some reason, my speech is disjointed. Like I'm so tired, I can't, like my words and my body's not connected. Like it's just not connecting. <sighs> uh, what was I saying though? So I recorded this wig. I will leave the link to the review down below. But right now I'm watching Bondi Blue. Y'all can't see her. Watching Bondi Blue in her RHLP review. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Come on, T. <gasps> crest, some crest. Call me. Uh-huh. Thank you.